So this is quick and easy mayonnaise. I've got my jug. You need one egg, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, um, up to half a teaspoon of salt. I don't put too much in, otherwise it is too salty. So that's really to taste. And you'll need a quarter of a teaspoon of dried mustard. I whiz it up with the hand whisker and then just a jar to pop it in. These are old jam and um, marmalade jars that we have. I always keep these because they're quite a good size. So, so just whoops, crack the egg. And you want a quarter of a teaspoon of mustard. Dried mustard, that is. I saw you could use the other, but it's usually dry mustard. And then I just put a little bit of salt in. I don't like it too salty. And you want a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. That's just the Morrison's one. And I did use Coleman's mustard. Of course, our own egg and then salt. And then, got not done with the oil. <laughs> you want a quarter of a pint of oil. Um, this is grapeseed oil. You can do it with olive oil, but I find that it's quite strong with olive oil. So I tend to use grapeseed oil. So just pop that in. fairly thick hopefully you can see that and then I'll just pop it straight into the jar scraping everything out because we waste not want not To men in the old days, if you didn't waste anything, you wouldn't want for anything. <laughs> That's what my mum was brought up with, and she brought me and my brother up with that. I think it's, it's a good say. So then I just keep that in the fridge, and it probably will thicken up a little bit more. I just put the date on the lid and you can see you've got quite a bit in there from just that. So there we are, that's my homemade mayonnaise. Quick and easy, how long did that take? Two, three minutes? Fantastic. <laughs>